about the same unless we're going to keep the shop open all night or something like that and our electric bill is going to go up or something like that or we have a crazy band that has our amplifiers blasting all day i don't know so but the cost of goods sold uh, is an account that will typically change in alignment with the sale of the products the sale of the products uh, is a sale of our inventory and usually uh, if if we sell inventory most businesses have a pretty good idea of what the profit margin is you know between the sales line and the cost of goods sold that's their that's their profit margin so we can we can say okay well if you know for example if i pull up the trusty calculator we're going to say that you know before we had uh the cost of goods sold was 45954 divided by the, the the sales of inventory of 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 our inventory 58451 so we have uh the the cost of goods sold is 78 percent of the of the sales price right so and and our and our our profit margin then would be like we had the 58451 minus the 45954 that's a 12497 profit of the sales price minus the cost of the guitars if i divide that by the sales price we get 58451 right 21.3% uh, right so i can do so the same so I, that same relationship you would think would follow uh, if there's an increase to the the sales so the easiest way to do that is to say well i'm just going to if if you're going to have a nice flow of an increase we said of uh 10 percent per period on the sales we would expect the cost of goods sold to go up roughly equally because we're gonna have to buy the guitars to make those sales right so i'm going to say let's go into here and do the same thing this is going to be times 1.1 percent and we'll have this nice smooth i'll copy that across increase there and so then i can take i can take the same ratio and just check it i can say okay well 45954 divided by this number 58451 was 78.6% let's just check this one i should get the same percent right 27802 divided by this number the 35363 is 78.6 percent right and then the total i'll stop saying right i'm get, i'm I, I feel like i'm developing a twitch of saying right all the time am i right microphone could you tell me am i right 491 347 on the total divided by the 627.966 is the 78.6 percent so same relationship all the way across the board Okay, so we did the cost of goods sold. Let's just highlight that one. Say we did that one. And now we're like, I'm gonna call, I'm gonna say the bank feeds. I'm not even gonna do anything with the bank feeds because it's one in material, most likely, not gonna have a big impact on our decision making due to the dollar sign, the dollar amount being small, and because I would expect it to be somewhat the same. Uh so so then we have the insurance. Now the insurance, there's kind of an issue with do, whether we're not we're looking at this on a cash basis or accrual basis we've been putting our books on an accrual basis meaning if we pay for the insurance uh at, at one time for a year then then we'd still allocate it on an accrual basis now if you were doing a full service budgeting system then you would want to do both a cash-based budget and an accrual based budget right you'd have two budgets but uh uh we're, we'll just do i'm just going to imagine for the sake of our data input just to see it a little bit different that we're going to do a kind of a cash based system here paying for it two times a year so i'm going to delete this whole thing and i'm just going to say that we're going to pay uh uh we're going to pay liability insurance in february we'll say february it's going to actually cost six thousand we're going to imagine and then september i'm going to say six thousand so that's going to be a that's what we're projecting to happen next year on the liability insurance we're going to say just to switch up the routine so you might have some kind of costs that will be higher in particular areas remembering again that when that is the case it's likely 
that you might be doing an accrual thing to it if you were doing a full service accrual accounting system, in which case you might, again, want two budgets, cash-based versus accrual, accrual based budgets. Okay, so continuing on, internet, I'm gonna say is basically the same. So we're gonna think that's gonna be basically the same all the way through the year, and because it's gonna be somewhat constant unless there's like inflation or something that's happening, or we need to upgrade or whatever. And then taxes that we have, this is uh, payroll taxes. So these, both of these two lines are payroll taxes, payroll taxes and payroll tax uh, adjustment. So if I net the, if I, if I was to net these two out, it comes out to uh, 48. So what I can do then is I'm, I'm going to, I should probably try to put these on one line. So let me do this. I'm going to say, I'm going to say this cell, I'm going to say is equal to the sum of these two, close the brackets, divided by two, instead of having two separate lines. And then I'll say enter. So now we've got the this amount. And then I can delete this adjustment account. I don't need an adjustment account. I'll put it both in the payroll tax line, selecting that and deleting it. That's still, uh, hold on a second. Let me undo, undo that. I have to do that here as well. So I'm going to say these two should be 9,972. So I'm going to say here, this is going to be uh, well, let's do it this way. This is going to be 972 negative, negative. And then I don't have to sum the two up. It's just going to be this divided by two. Okay, that looks right. And then I can delete this whole line, delete. And then the total is still equivalent to what's on my 1324. Uh, one, three, uh, one, three, two, five rounded. Okay. That's fine. All right. So then, so then I'm going to say this one, w 